What is the foundation of the church? Here it is. The foundation of the apostles, that's the apostles of the New Testament, and the prophets, the prophets of the Old Testament, whose prophecies were for us today, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together. Now let me explain right here that in the church in the first century, there also were prophets. The Bible had not been all written yet. In fact, most of the New Testament had not been written yet. And so when God had something new to reveal, he would reveal it to a prophet, but the prophet went immediately to the apostle. And it was the apostle who acted on it, not the prophet. Now there are no prophets in the church today because the Bible is complete. Now Jesus set an example and he preached and he took the scriptures and expounded them and explained them. And he sent out the apostle Paul. It's right that we should preach and expound and explain the scripture. Many are expounding and explaining it improperly and incorrectly. And there are many false prophets. And so I say, it's right that you should listen. It's right that you should listen without prejudice and with open mind, but take your Bible and search the Bible and prove all things, whether these are right and whether they are true. Do that when you get one of our booklets. Do it as you listen to me on the air. A lot of people will tell you that I'm a false prophet. Now, that's either so or else they're mistaken or they're lying. It's one or the other. But on the other hand, there are many false prophets. How do you know who they are? And if you say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the thing does not happen or come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You shall not be afraid of him. Our prophet is Jesus Christ. He is the head of the church. He's the greatest of all prophets. And he still today is living and he's the head of the church. But where is he today? He ascended to the right hand of God in heaven. And there he has been the high priest of the church ever since. You only find about four prophets mentioned in the New Testament. But they didn't contribute any doctrine or any belief to the church. They didn't have an administrative position in running the church or administering the affairs of the church in any way. So there were no New Testament prophets that had anything to do with being founders of the foundation of the church. So it refers to Old Testament prophets. Now every one of these Old Testament prophets are quoted in the New Testament and they are a part of the foundation of the doctrine and of the belief of the church. All teaching came from Christ through the apostles. And a few times Christ communicated to apostles via the prophets, of which there are none in God's church today since the Bible for our time is complete. God's church today, as in the first century, receives its teachings from the living Christ through an apostle just as in AD 31. Subscribe to this channel for upcoming Herbert W. Armstrong content.